guys, how's it going? Nate here and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today I have another redstone creation ready for you to behold and let's get right into it. Um, you probably realized from the introduction that the creation is actually a slime block elevator and it goes quite fast so if we take a look we're gonna go in, we're gonna press the button. We're going up pretty fast, not really a delay. And we're up here in 7 seconds, we go 60 layers up, so I think that is pretty fast. And getting down, just falling, holding space, and we are free. Now, the design is extraordinarily simple. If we take a look at here, you can see there is not many redstone used. And the pattern just repeats itself all the way to the top. So basically what you have to do is just make one pattern at the bottom. And then just keep on repeating it until you get to your desired height. Uh, very important if you make this build is to include this wall here that you cannot fall outwards if you get pushed by a slime block because if this, not, if this is not closed off um, around the fifth slime block you will be pushed out. I'm gonna see if it happens this time if I remove these blocks. Should happen now. So if we stand still and go up Oh, it's a bit higher, but you see I move a little bit when I get up, so make sure to close off your wall because you will get stuck otherwise and you will be thrown out and the elevator won't work. Oh, got an achievement, look at that. Alright, so let's get right into the building. I will do one segment together with you guys and then you can just repeat the pattern all the way to the top. I will also include a download in the description below for this world, so if you have any problems you can just take a look at this design and copy it to your own worlds. So if we take a look at the uh, design for the starter block, really quite simple if you put the bottom uh, on the uh, block right here and don't forget these are all furnaces putting around the slime blocks so they don't get pushed and the blocks don't mix up with each other. So um, button is on the other side of this redstone torch so if we press the button this torch goes out this redstone dust goes out, which activates this torch, which activates the piston. So that is to start the first jump pad. This redstone torch right here activates the first jump pad that allows us to go higher. And I will do one of these with you together and then you can just repeat the pattern all the way up. So what I recommend is before you start doing your redstone and stuff, uh, make sure that you place all your furnaces, all your sticky pistons and all your slime blocks in the correct way so that you get got that taken care of. So don't forget, a furnace is to remove to prevent the slime block from taking all the blocks put one piston facing upwards slime block on top and then one piston facing your jump path uh, the first piston so you can see it comes two blocks above the furnace so three blocks above the ground so one two three then your piston and once you go up you place a furnace on top of the slime block count one two three blocks and then another piston so four blocks between each piston uh, I mean five, sorry, so one, two, three, four, five blocks between each piston and then you can go all the way up and continue the builds. So for the redstone itself, we start by placing three blocks one level below the piston, place two redstone dust like this, one repeater with one thick delay, then a block on top and a block here, put a redstone torch right there and a redstone torch right here. Now as you see, this activates the piston, if you want to get it normal again, just place another torch. But once you finish your design and you start it up, everything will work out just fine. So a torch there, one torch over here, and that will, if we take a button, you will see that it... Oops, there goes my button. If we take a button, you can see this will extend the piston and make us go higher. Now of course we have to connect this to the redstone right over here, so what we do is we place one torch on top, one block above, another torch on top, block above that torch, a redstone torch at the side, so this one should go out, and then we place a block right next to it with some redstone, on, redstone dust on it, so it connects to the next jump pad. So as you can see, everything comes together nicely, if we go up, connects all the way to the jump pad, torches up, connects all the way up until you reach the final stage. So, um, as I said, this world will be in the download below, so that you can take a look at it. Whoa, this is creepy. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial a bit, and thank you very much 
for watching. Bye-bye.